Hello there, it's Mr. Jimmy here. I uh, thought I'd make a quick video. A lot of people uh, ask me about strumming, strumming patterns, how to strum, um, uh, give give lessons here in my area, and it's the first thing I pretty much go over. Is you, well, you, first you learn chords, G, C, D, E, A, B, seventh, to learn the chords but then you got to learn the transition of going from the G to, G to the C to the D E to the A to the D or any variation of those chords um, the way I describe strumming now this is just this 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 is just pretty much just uh, strumming uh, going up and down different various ways of doing it um, you have one that just goes it's just back and forth like you got another one that goes down down like is what I call that the boom shaka laka laka um I describe to a lot of the a lot of people that I teach playing rhythm um, can be difficult for some. Um, I call this if you have if my arm back here was a mechanical device just going up and down. There's no feeling. There's no uh, emotion. You might say there's no feeling to it. Just mechanical. It would sound like. rhythm or nothing there there is rhythm there but what I like to t teach is when you if you just a back and forth kind of rhythm which is only half a million songs you know with this rhythm pattern in it what I like to teach so if you're playing an E chord or as far as this lesson here teaching any any kind of rhythm you play a G it doesn't matter what, what what you're playing E. What I like to do is go start down with the pick pretty much on your top strings to give it a bass sound. That the first stroke is you're kind of hitting all the strings at the same time. That second one up you're hitting these top strings top four top five more emphasis I guess you might say on the when you start out like one two three four kind of hear the bass and there at the high end that gives it more of the people emotion the more of a more of a rhythm sound instead of just got a little floppiness going on there but not not too much you don't want to do this number so it's just a, a little 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 flexibility in the wrist like I said it's not stiff and it's not too much just kind of like and you, you can ball your fist up too if you want to but I like to just make it more more relaxed if you just hold your pick yay like that and the picks I also like to use called Dunlap 0. .60 as far as the pick goes it's not too stiff and it's not too flimsy so it's good for any kind of guitar playing so the rhythm the second rhythm I do is a down down and then back up so it's a Shaka laka laka, so like said, boom, shaka. Like, down, down, back and forth. Down, 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 down. Make a 
a quick little lesson that helps some folks out there with your rhythm um, as far as playing rhythm um, some people you know get it just like that some don't um, keep, keep practicing um, you'll eventually get it I think just don't get discouraged just keep playing the rhythm while you're practicing that change chords also play your play your G chord however you play your G chord and if you haven't yet played a song still in the process of just learning chords while you're playing a rhythm add on another chord so if you're playing a G play it slow and that goes into another lesson of transitioning chords, which you want to play slow. You don't want to... And then try to play the C, you know. That ain't going to work. So keep it slow. Keep it slow. go back and forth like I said there's several different several different different uh, rhythm patterns back and forth is make a little lesson on just on strumming there so good luck everybody is mr jimmy out and about <laughs>